don't know. Well, you've got me this week, but we do need to find out what happened to Bellamy after last week, don't we? So let's get straight into the story. Bellamy's eyes slowly began to focus. For a couple of seconds, he thought he'd died and gone to heaven. But the throbbing coming from the top of his head assured him he was very much still alive. He looked around and saw Betsy standing over him. Eventually, he remembered what had happened. He'd been hit on the head by Granny's rolling pin. He'd been knocked unconscious and Betsy had rescued him from underneath the window, all because he couldn't keep away from the strawberry jam. He wanted to get up and thank Betsy for saving him, but he really couldn't move very far. It was a full three weeks before he was able to get up and wander around the hive again. When Bellamy did start wandering round, the other bees surprised him. He thought they'd be glad to see him, but instead they talked about him. They said how stupid he was and how bad it had been making Betsy, the girl bee, get into danger rescuing him. Bellamy knew that he'd been stupid, but he was also very sure he didn't deserve all the hassle he was getting from the other bees. The other bees started refusing to work with Bellamy. They refused to go near him. Before long, Bellamy felt very sad indeed, but to cover up his sadness, he just became angry and started to pick fights with the other bees. The hive was a mess. Nothing was getting done, everyone was arguing, everyone was fighting. We get like this sometimes. Someone does something wrong and we refuse to forgive them. Instead, we begin to argue with them and call them all sorts of horrid names and we stop being their friends. But the amazing thing about bees is that every single one of them needs the other ones. Every single one, from the queen down to the worker bees, has got a special job to do. They all have a special function to fulfil, and they all need each other. And the amazing thing about people is that sometimes they're not as clever as bees. We also need each other, and we all have a special job to do, and we all have a function. We all have a destiny for, for, to fulfil for King Jesus, but we just don't realise it. Eventually, the Queen had to get involved. She called all the bees together in a huge bee meeting and began to talk. Bellamy has been silly. There's no doubt about that. He put Betsy in danger. and There's no doubt about that. But let me say this to you. If you're the bee who's never done anything wrong, then you can be the bee to ignore Bellamy. But if you have done things wrong, then you must know how bad Bellamy feels. And you'd better make friends very quickly. Everyone was deadly quiet. Betsy was remembering the time she stung little Lucy. Other bees were remembering the times they stayed out too long and nearly got lost. And other bees remembered the pollen that they'd been too lazy to collect or the pollen they'd dropped on the way back to the hive. And one by one, they started to apologise to Bellamy. And we need to think before we start fighting with people as well. We've all done things wrong. Maybe we need to be peacemakers and not split people up. Maybe we need to spend more time making friends than making enemies. Maybe it's time to sort some things out with some other people. Maybe, just maybe, it's time to make peace with God. Maybe it's time to ask God to forgive all those wrong thoughts and wrong actions. Maybe it's time to become a friend and not an enemy of God. See you next week.